Hey guys, what's going on? It's Alex from Fitment Industries, and I am here making a special appearance with Ooh, Dakota from Fitment Industries and Jealous from Fitment Industries. And what are we doing today? We are taking another look at some other YouTubers' cars. Part oh. two, baby! Wow! All right, well, I'm gonna have some more coffee since Dakota <laughs> had a Red Bull. I'm ready to go. And in case Just, you guys like, are wondering, we are taking a look at some YouTubers' cars, but if you wanna actually add your car into our gallery, so you can be a part of our normal series, which is from the gallery, which airs, I think, every other week, you can do so at fitmentindustries.com forward slash ad. Please subscribe, it makes us super happy. And I can have more coffee when you subscribe, so. All right, so are we ready? Yes. What is this? Who are we starting off I, with? Who am, I, who am I looking at? You don't know? I mean, I don't know every single car <laughs> on YouTube. No, I mean, it's only probably one of the more iconic ones. All right, well, I'm, Joe, glad, just spin I'm it. glad I'm here. I'm so happy. So this is Mr. Adam LZ's 240 oh, SX. Okay, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. I'm sorry. Jeez, I just feel like I'm, now everybody's morning. gonna flame me. It's like it's weird, eight o'clock in the morning. because you're wearing a hat. I want to swipe that way too. Well, I'm a, when I wear a hat, you know, I'm a little more truck guy, you know? <laughs> so just starting it off, it looks like a drift missile, so it already makes me happy. And it's all one color. So we're off to a fantastic start. It's an in interesting terms color. Of what it, yeah, looks like but a it's cool. Envelope. Looks like he's got some BC racing coilovers, some racing seats in there. Looks like he's got upgraded brakes, judging by it. Uh, are those works? They look like works. No, I think I actually actually really dig it for what it is. Yeah. What do you think about Adam LZ, Mr. Gels? I know everything about Adam LZ. <laughs> I know what he had for dinner last night. <laughs> nice. No, I really like the car. I think I always like the color of it too. It's like more like a, a lighter yellow or like a cream color. I think he's repainted it a couple times throughout the last uh, few years. I think it's like really clean for like the setup that it is. Like he drives the absolute shit out of this yeah. car and it still looks like really decent. Like you wouldn't guess that it's drifted as much as it is. I think my favorite part about the whole thing is this wing. I absolutely love that that style wing. Yeah. It's like the, I love how it like crests like the three, two, over six the power. Yeah. yeah. Like it's just got cool. that like swooping like ends on it. No, I think it's a super cool car. I love that it gets used as much as, like I think it's a super cool setup. I, I got nothing bad It's really to say simple. About it. There's nothing too crazy about it. But Daddy C. Oh, God, stop! <laughs> so, first off, you're not. <laughs> Let us be Here clear. we go. Okay. You're like a stepfather figure, <laughs> part time, on the weekends only. But so, yeah, this thing is super dope. I'd like to see some contrast in the car, the, just being all that one kind of manila yellow color is he throwing me off a little support. bit. I don't. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of the color. The car, however, looks freaking awesome. I do like that it's different. Um, the Sparco seats in there look really dope. I like the red contrast that those bring. Uh, wheels are a good choice. And then from a functionality standpoint, I think this car is set up perfectly. Cause like you were saying, he beats the shit out of it. It's really moderate too. Like and it, it looks super, super nice. So you guys kind of hit all the key points. Um, overall, I really like it. You it's all it? the same color. What? Yeah, I know a, that. A plus. All right, you're ready to enough contrast. You okay. literally just said not That's enough. Well, I didn't. I didn't mean. Thanks by, for changing no, your right. mind. Oh, I can't God. wait for you to rate I'm it a ten. All right, ready? One, two, three. Eight. Seven point five. All right. Why don't you go next there, okay. so that you can have all of the swipe. Okay, so we have Jin Jim's. Jin Jim. Jin Jim. Jin Jim. Jin Jim. Jin Jim. Slim Jim. Jim. Slim Jim. An N and then an M. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, anyways, this Miata is freaking crazy. It's the rally Miata. Branded. It's insane. <laughs> Branded. I can't tell you how much I would love to drive this because it looks absolutely ridiculous. I know we were watching a video of him like taking in like a rally cross or whatever, yeah. and it looked like an absolute blast. He's got the snorkel on there. He's got the spare tire on the trunk. He has some gnarly <laughs> tires on there. The flares. And then uh, again, we have this kind of like sand color that goes along with the rally build. I love the cargo rack on top and then the lights on it, it looks super good. This picture right here, it looks like he's having a good time, which I think this car is all about. I don't know what I would change about this because it's so unique, but everything that's done to it looks like it belongs there. So yeah, that's my take on it. It looks like he likes to party. And that's what I like <laughs> about the whole thing is that the whole car looks like it likes to party. Absolutely everything is really cool about this car. I think Miatas are probably one of the best cars you can buy, like value for dollar. If you're looking to get into the scene, I've always said that and I'll continue to say that forever. But also, I also love Miatas because you can do 
stuff like this, <laughs> and it still is gonna behave just fine. Like it's still a Miata. Like the bot, it's just it's awesome to see. I love the color. I love the contrast. I love the wheel and tire setup. The little fender flares are a nice touch, especially because those tires are gonna kick up a whole hell of a lot of stuff. <laughs> Looks like he's got removable doors or just no doors in Jeep stuff. general, because Jeep stuff. Love the snorkel. I think that's really cool. Um, and then he kept the pop-up headlights, which I think is you have to. really gnarly. You have to do that. I, I, I don't think I would change much of anything. I think the only thing I would say is that I love how the front has like the the brush bar almost yeah, that on looks the front. So good. That looks super good, but then there's nothing on the back in terms of a crash like, bar. And it that looks one like he a did two different. Yeah, but like a crash bar in the back or something might gotcha. be cool to kind of just, yeah, just tie it all protect there. your buttocks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that's the only thing. But I this is so freaking gnarly. I absolutely love when people do unconventional stuff, like off, like the overland or off-road stuff to yeah. cars like this. And he's got the hard top too. You know how rare <laughs> that hard top is? If that oh. hard top, oh God, I messed the whole thing up. Oh. But if you had the hard top with the defrost I love and it's hard glass, tops. not the Lexan, you're paying a premium there, bud, like $1,500 Oof. for that hard top, not including if you had to paint match it. Right. All right, I'm interested to hear Jell's take on okay, this because uh, when people yeah. make their cars off-road cars, Jell's tends to- Usually it's like when people lift their cars, I just usually just don't understand. However, <laughs> I absolutely really love it. Speak your piece, bro. No, I think I think it's super, super cool. Like the style that he went with it, like the front end looks absolutely killer. Like this shot is probably like my favorite shot. You got the big snorkel coming up the side. You got the big like brush guard and everything. I love that eventually it went into like the upright spares, yeah. like yeah. dual spares in the back. <laughs> like that's, that's super rowdy. cool. And then, that's you know. That's gotta be so heavy. This thing looks like just so <laughs> much freaking In the snow, that would drive, be a blast. Like, I yeah. that in Wisconsin and get the It looks like so much fun. And yeah. just like, you know, Miata's you can just do whatever to and you're still gonna have a good time with it. Cool. I like it. All right, cool. Shall we rate it? Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, Eight. seven and a half. Nine, seven and a half. All right, well, oh, Jells. Wow, Jells, way to. True colors are showing. Yeah, I mean, Adam, L <laughs> Adam LG has a similar color car, and you gave that like a 13, so whatever. It's cool. Do I go this way? It's an eight. Yeah. Oh, we have B is for builds. He knows this Nissan one. Z. Yeah, you actually got to check this one out, didn't you? 40? Yeah, I actually got to talk to him at SEMA last year. Very cool guy. Um, I don't understand how he has as much patience as he does with some of these cars because I've seen the condition that they come in and the amount of work that he has to do and I just feel so bad for him. <laughs> However, this thing is gnarly and if I remember correctly, it has Damn. a BMW swap motor. It's the V10 yep. and then it's Jesus. got the complete interior swap of that, car. Of that same car. That's gnarly so he, he, took, like, he took the whole thing and pretty much just said, okay, I, can I put a Datsun <laughs> chassis in this? Isn't and it he just did. like the body, like isn't the frame it's like completely custom to? It, like, it's a lot of work yeah. done to this thing. That's and, unbelievable. And, and there's a big story about how a lot of people just didn't think it was gonna work out. Like nobody thought that this yeah. was gonna work out. And this car was at the Koenig booth yep. last year, which was really cool. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love this car and I absolutely love Z's. Z's are the best like Lego car because there's so much space in them for pretty much anything. They're a mile long, so anything that you want to swap in them, you can. And plus, a lot of the parts actually aren't too inherently expensive and you can get into them for a pretty good price. You just never get your money back. I really like it. I think the, um, I don't know if they're Rocket Bunny flares. I want to say that he had to work with different front and rear flares or something like that, if I remember correctly. I love the overall fitment. I think the fitment's perfect. In all other cases, this car is this car is beautiful. So I have nothing bad to say about it. Didn't this? Didn't he have to like start over on this at one point, or like did he get like a like a donor car and they like dropped it off like the? I remember there was like a whole tow bunch truck, of or they backed it into the tow truck or something, and it like he's completely very patient. totaled. Yeah, yeah. He's very oh my patient goodness. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I said he's a patient man. I think the amount of custom work and fabric and like the whole thing is like literally built from the ground up. Yeah, like yeah. the com custum chassis, like everything is just completely built by him. And that is super, super freaking cool. So I mean. And he is one of the is, like original like rebuilder channel. Yeah. Right. Like he, when he started, I remember like when he, he started, like he was like BRZs yeah, in his backyard. He had a tiny, like, yeah. <laughs> tiny channel, I remember. Yeah. Like he blew up, which is super good for him because the amount of work that he does is 
is absolutely insane. It's so cool to see him go from that like tiny little tinker shop to actually having like a little bit right. of a, a garage now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think this car is absolutely fantastic. Like the styling and everything on it is super cool. The uniqueness so of like a BMW V10 and then just the whole interior. So yeah. the, just making that interior work in the car too. I wish there was a, a, a picture of it because it's absolutely insane. And it's got the roll cage if I remember correctly. I don't know if it's a roll cage, but I know he's got like the frame supports yep. that are coming yep. out through. And there. so he had to like cut around <laughs> The interior BMW piece to like fit it all in there. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. It's so it's just the coolest thing ever. I don't know. Why don't you talk about the louvers? All right, the louvers are cool. Right. <laughs> yeah. So this, this guy is a madman. Even having the idea or the concept to do this just blows my mind. Like that's so daunting, and to be able to do it and then pull it off so perfectly is just absolutely amazing. Um, I think the fender flares work super well with this car. This front end shot looks absolutely perfect. Um, I do really like the louvers. I think those go well with it. I don't know how I feel about the exhaust tips. Those look a little different to me. I like the rear diffuser though. Um, like the little duckbill spoiler on there, that looks good. I would love to see the interior more because it sounds pretty crazy. Uh, the fitment is spot on. This just looks like a blast I love that to it's drive. On, like, Konings too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, it's yeah, it's not on any like crazy three-piece wheels or anything yeah. like that. Full farm, Konings. Full farm wheels. Just and yeah, the, and there the Konings go. look good on it. You yeah. know, they fit the car really well. And it's on air too, isn't it? I don't know if it is. I, I can't. I don't remember think it, it is. Either, I at least think it's on like air cups or something. It could be on air cups. Yeah, yeah. maybe. But yeah, yeah, it. How much more can you say about it? In my eyes, it's damn near perfect. Disc. Okay. All right, you ready to rate it? Yep. On three. Ready? One, two, three. Ten. Ten. Damn. Yeah. It deserves it though. <laughs> it deserves it. That's this is a car that's so cool to watch, and just watching B is for build on a lot of the stuff that he does is always fun. It's very cool to see. Shall we move on to the next car? Sure yeah. thing. <clears throat> you take her away there, champ. Alrighty. So next up we Ten. got um, Randy from the Eliminate Crew, our Randy Eliminate YouTube channel, and this is Randy! his. Uh, <laughs> So this is his Ready? R32 uh, Skyline. Oof. So this thing is super, super cool. We got R32, a dark gray R32, which I think is super clean. The wheels on it, the fitment on it, super nice. Um, I think overall it's just a really clean, like modest build. And it and it's just very, like I said, modest, moderate, but it looks really nice. Like the wing and everything, he's got like the little, I don't know what you call it, there's, but there's like a specific word for it, but it's the extra like duck bill mm -hmm. on top of the yeah, wing. Yeah. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but I, I like those on a lot of cars, and especially with like the R32 where it just kind of comes and covers like the whole back end of the car, I think is really cool. It kind of reminds me of like the like the older M3s and stuff. Yeah. Like the E30s had sure. that, that same kind of style. But I think this is just a super clean build. The color combo on it, you got like the polished look or the, and like the dark gray. I think it's very, very modest. Very clean. There you go. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Yeah, this thing is dope. I absolutely love it. Dope. Clean, dope. Clean and dope. Clean, dope, and neat. Clean and dope. It is. It is kind of modest, but like it pulls it off so well. And the fitment is fucking amazing. Are those heritage? That's what I was trying to look at. A lot of people really like the Blitz wheels. Uh, I'm I'm in between on them. Sometimes they look super good, and sometimes they're. Eh, they're all right. This car so pulls them off unique, super well. Like, spoke to yeah, it is, it is. And like, I don't know, there's a lot going on in the wheel, but it looks good. I love the exhaust on this. I love the wing he's got on there. And like I said before, the fitment is absolutely spot on. I'd maybe like to see like a rear diffuser and a little bit of a lip. Well, it kind of has a lip on there. There's not too much I'd do to it. It's just a modest, clean build. I like the rear wing that you're talking about, Gels, because it reminds me of like NSX. That's, the NSX yeah, that's type your, R wing mm -hmm. that you can get on there. Um, is it on air? Do we know? I don't believe so. So I see that he's got camber and then he's definitely running like a stretch tire mm -hmm. setup. So if he is running air, it'd be cool to see, you know, on like the ground, see that fender to lip. But if it's static, I think sure it's static. if it is static, I think it is maybe going up a tire size would be really my only thing that I would say. <laughs> I think, uh, I think this is a beautiful car. The coolest thing about this setup or what he's doing to it is the car is so clean that he can go with a more aggressive 
design wheel without True. it being overbearing. True. And that's the neatest thing about the whole car is that he keeps that theme from the front all the way to the back of the car. So there's still upgrades, but they're not to the point in which they stick out more than the car sticks right. out itself. And I think that's why it's kind of hard to nitpick because everything mm -hmm. just flows together so very well, especially when I look in the back. I mean, everything just looks where it's supposed to be. And I think that even with the taillights and cleaning those up and making the, the even the glass as clean as it, uh, clean as it is, yeah. everything about the car just, it's one of those cars where it's one you wouldn't necessarily like, not everybody's gonna crowd around it immediately. It's one of those cars where the more you look at it, the more I you're gonna end up it, yeah. appreciating sure. it. And that's the coolest thing about this car. So very nice setup. I think it's an absolutely killer car. Hell Shall yeah. we rate? Yes. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. yep. One, two, three, Nine. eight and a half. Power hour, go ahead. All right, Jimmy Oaks. Jimmy Oaks. <laughs> is that all you're gonna give me? Yeah. Oh, sweet, I like it. So LS Jimmy Oaks, and this is an LS Swap 300 <laughs> because you can LS Swap the There's world. There's always that one baby. guy. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start right off the bat by letting you know that I think 300 ZXs are one of the most underappreciated cars in the market. I think from factory, they have one of the most beautiful motors. When you pop open the hood, everything is very symmetrical in well, them, if you've ever seen them. But he just said, <laughs> we don't need that. Well, fuck I know that. a couple of people don't like the 300s just because they're a little bit heavier, they're a little bit busy, they're tough to work on. But to see that he just L-swapped it, he just completely got rid of the problem entirely. <laughs> I love the wheels work, you can never go wrong with. The setup is super clean. I love that it's a 300ZX. I'm a, I have a soft spot for, for those cars. And I know it kind of makes people mad sometimes when you LS swap, but I think on this platform, for people to really go crazy with them, you, you almost kind of have to right. a little bit, just to make them a little bit more tolerable. Fitman looks fantastic, stance looks good. It's definitely got an older vibe to it, so not a lot of new gen, you know, aero or anything right. like that that I'm seeing on it, so you have to be okay with that. Much cleaner design, very simple front skirt or side skirt, front lip, kind of hidden, nothing too crazy on the exhaust. Just looks like something that's clean and easy and mm -hmm. breezy and under control. Easy, breezy, beautiful, beautiful cover girl. Cover girl. Okay. I got it, don't worry. Thank you, I, I didn't remember the end. Anyways, so this is another one, at least <laughs> <laughs> on the exterior wise, this is more of a modest build and then you got a, kind of a crazy stance. Yep. The stance is perfect on this one too. This is a super cool car. I love the fact that he put an LS in it. I think that's what these cars need. This thing's gotta be rowdy and it's gotta be a blast to drive. I wanna say something else that I'd do to it, but then I think you'd be taking away from the simplicity of it. It's almost like- Chop the hood open. It's so unsuspecting. I was gonna say, it's yeah. almost just kind of like a sleeper build, yeah. you know? So I don't wanna do anything too crazy, you know? It just, this thing <laughs> probably smoke your ass on the highway, you know? <laughs> Which is, it's awesome. I, I love it. I think it looks way better with the LS in it. Sorry about your symmetrical motor. I don't really care. <laughs> the LS is cool and the, the fitment's perfect. So Jimmy Oaks, his 300ZX. This thing is super, super cool. Super, 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 super cool. Super duper. I'm gonna put a super, super cool counter on this. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I hope you do because that would be well, super, 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 too. super, super duper. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> no, I think it's awesome. I, the LS swap, the like I said, the unsuspecting yeah. look to it. It's like you still got the like the cans in the back and then it's a V8 with old cans on. like just coming through. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think the fitment on it is really clean. I mean it's a static setup obviously and like the thing is low. Like it is a low yeah. car. I think that's why it's so like unsuspecting. It's almost right. like a stance car. Yeah. You know? And, and then and then it's just bit. got a lot of, you know, ponies behind it and yeah, they're on you. And it's got T-tops. T-tops. So, I mean, yeah, you can't go wrong with the old T-tops. It's T-tops. Awesome. Awesome. And just so you know, he also has a four-door E30 that he's Ooh. started to drift and it's kind of making me jealous. Well, well it's we way better than ours. Okay, <laughs> let's go into the rating system, shall we? On three. Ready? One, two, three, Eight nine. 25. There you go. Cool. Forever. Got it. Awesome. So that is rating our YouTubers cars. If you guys think that we should go out and rate some other cars, drop a comment below with who you want us to go check out. And if you were in this video, we hope you're not mad at us. You guys all have some pretty incredible cars and it's super cool to see. And if you guys haven't yeah, added to our gallery, be sure to do that over at fitmentindustries.com forward slash add. Nope. We hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Alex from Fitment Industries. I'm Daddy. <laughs> I'm Dakota. And I'm out. He, <laughs> no part of you is a father figure.